Hey folks and welcome to another video of mine. Today's video is going to be a little different because I'm doing a vlog kind of a video at the Shamiana, which is a restaurant at Taj City Center in Newtown here in Kolkata. So I thought, you know, let's head out. Let's have some meal with my kid and my wife. Uh, he had his parent teachers meeting and I thought, you know, let's drop in here. It's very close to our house, by the way, where we stay. So um, we dropped by and we were pleasantly surprised because this hotel earlier used to be a Swiss hotel and they renovated this place and the management of Taj took over. So this restaurant area that you see now has been completely revamped and um, the ambience of this place is absolutely fantastic you have these high ceilings you have a lot of natural light coming in and let me tell you that this was actually a dull day so it was raining outside and um, it is not very bright but still in this video this place looks really lit up i mean it's bright you have seating um, um, area outside as well but since it was raining and it's summertime here in kolkata just very hot and humid it's not an ideal uh, place to uh, sit with your family winters yeah it'd be great to sit here now right close to the restaurant or next to the restaurant you had a spa you had a pool up there I'm gonna take you out there and uh, show you around as well but speaking of the spa now just look at this place I mean this place looks absolutely brilliant I mean it, it looks like a place out of a movie like you know I mean how they have this architectural kind of a setup and um, everything looks really appealing to your eye that's what i felt here i don't know i mean it, it just attracted me so much this whole area here and this is um, the entrance to the spa which is called jiva that's the name of the spa there and um, i didn't get a chance to go inside but hey uh, it looks brilliant outside so i can only imagine how it would be inside yeah what I did want to show you was the pool area. So let's quickly, you know, take a look at uh, this place here. By the way, this is a full out hotel. So in case you want to stay here, uh, then you can completely enjoy the pool and um, the uh, spa, the gym as well, which I'm going to show you in a bit. And um, this hotel is strategically located. So it's in Newtown. And as you can see, you have this in beautiful infinity edge pool and you get these unobstructed views, this, this beautiful view of Newtown, Kolkata. Um, it was, a, you could say, an overcast sky here. So it was not very sunny, thankfully, and it was not raining when we were at this pool deck. Uh, thankful to God for that, that we actually got an opportunity to take a look at this as well. And uh, we were not drenched. <laughs> And again, just take a look at it, you know, my kid, when he saw this pool, he said that, Papa, you have to stay at this hotel. You have to stay here and I want to get into that pool. That's what he was saying. That's how good this pool looked because I think it, it kind of fascinated him that, you know, the, the infinity edge kind of fascinated him and uh, hey, he's just eight years old, you know, so he kind of enjoyed the views. And uh, he was motivated or encouraged to stay here. In fact, that's exactly what he was telling me as well. And um, if you just turn around, you have a gym right there as well, right next to the pool. And it was, I would say, a decently sized gym. Uh, not very big because if you've been to Taj, Royal Bengal here, uh, they have a very big gym. Even the Western Kolkata has a gym, which is really good, by the way. Um, not as big as ITC Royal Bengal, but still very, very good. And again, you know, you can get those beautiful views while you're working out. So if you're on the treadmill, if you're walking, if you're running on the treadmill, if you're working out, instead of looking at screens, it's so much better to just look at nature and um, just take in the views, you know? So it, it's, it's a great place. Again, it's strategically located very close to the airport. It's um, inside a mall. I mean, right next to the mall, not inside a mall. So if you plan to stay here, I think you're going to be really well connected to a lot of places um, and um, again the location is really fantastic of this place so uh, keep that in mind if you're looking out for a hotel to stay or even if you want to plan a staycation let's get back to the restaurant now again every single corner of the restaurant has been thought about beautifully planned you have these um, you know flower pots you have trees around here which are again uh, placed in all the right places and it just um, improves the overall aesthetics of this place. So 
it is beautiful to look at i mean let me put it that way in simple words you have this ma durga portrait here on the wall as well a big portrait and um, again it's it's the small things you know even the utensils even these uh, things that they have uh, around placed around you i mean it's thoughtfully placed it just improves the overall you could say aesthetic beauty of this place and you are going to be pleased if you are at this restaurant with your friends and family members you're going to have a good time even when you move your eye around <laughs> apart from the food that's on the table i think you're going to be having a very good time in terms of the ambiance now speaking of the food a uh, lot of options let's start with the salads by the way i mean there was a non vegetarian salad section and there was a vegetarian salad section as well but i particularly enjoyed this uh, salmon salad so special mention to this one it had all the right ingredients i mean cherry tomatoes broccoli etc beautiful and for all you veggie lovers there was a separate section for the salad so you won't be disappointed so you have a non veg and a veg salad section now this was a brunch with drinks non alcoholic and alcoholic so for non alcoholic you had the sparkling water with different flavors and then for alcoholic you had bira beer so hey you could just uh, you know take a sip of that chill beer and enjoy yourself with your friends now apart from that you had a lot of um, options um, you even had soup um, non veg and a veg soup a tuscan style chicken soup as it says here on the board and a sweet corn soup for um, the veggie lovers so this is just you know the starter section of this video and then we had your fromage with uh, the variety of cheese on offer we had grapes there to go along with it they even had uh, a variety of breads uh, unfortunately i was not able to capture that on this video but take my word for it there were a lot of options in terms of breads as well they had a couple of live counters one was the sushi counter and um, although they were setting this up let me tell you my experience when i did taste the sushi it was delicious absolutely delicious the sticky rice was spot on and um, the flavor was spot on as well the lebanese counter it had um, chicken satay it had some paneer satays and a lot of you could say sauce and condiments to choose from like there was even hummus there uh, that you could taste Now I particularly love dahi vadas so every buffet that I go to I look forward to having dahi vadas <laughs> I mean I don't know I, I I kind of have this thing for dahi vadas and let me tell you I was pleasantly pleasantly surprised that uh, although you know they were not making it at a live counter but this was so good it was perfect the right amount of uh, mint chutney the right amount of um, you could say um, sweetness it is absolutely perfect <laughs> and uh, moving over to the main course you had a lot lot of options again like kung pao chicken i've not even captured the thai fried rice or the noodles here but look at it i mean it's piping hot and uh, for veggie lovers again the de the devil's potatoes <laughs> beautiful they look absolutely sumptuous and it's 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 kind of like you know you just want to dive in as soon as you see the food here now this particular section every single item here was a blast to eat i mean in the sense like you had this pumpkin ricotta and uh, again look at look at how cheesy and how creamy it looks i mean it was really delicious and this mashed potatoes i tell you i kid you not i mean this is one of the best mashed potatoes that i have had in a very very long time it was insane how good this was in fact i helped myself at least 3 times with it the duck so tender so juicy and it had this flavor of oranges and ginger i mean it it just it is so good that it got over in a jiffy you know i mean everybody came here and it was finished although the restaurant was not occupied completely but the people who were here i mean they loved this it was it was over in a very short time of course you know they would refill it but that's how good it was even the fish florentine very very creamy again very nice to taste and moving over to the main course you had um, some uh, mutton biryani you had those caramelized onions in there just adds to the flavor those chilies fresh chilies that is oh, beautiful you had a uh, hyderabadi vegetable biryani for vegetable lovers again there's a right amount of balance between non vegetarian and vegetarian items here now moving over to the main course items again you had this uh, saag gosht means um, uh, lamb cooked in uh, you know this gravy and again it makes my mouth water just looking at it again you have those green chilies again perfect flavor now this by the way i tell you was probably one of the best items here the prawn malai curry prawn if you overcook it it becomes chewy or rubbery 
this was so soft so tender we ended up having like 15 or 20 of them you know just me and my kid i know <laughs> gluttony <laughs> you could say but hey we enjoyed it that much the butter chicken as well um, very very soft i mean the meat was really tender and very flavorful the right amount of cream the right amount of butter and um, very very good excellent i mean just look at it now apart from these meaty items you also had uh, black lentils like kali dal that we call and a lot of vegetarian options here as well and um, again it's that balance between non vegetarian and vegetarian items so you had your bindi do piazza which is lady's finger you had paneer which is your cottage cheese you had um, your uh, lentils black dal that is uh, some legumes kashmiri rajma uh, you had uh, paneer butter masala again cottage cheese cheese in a rich tomato gravy and you had that creamy aloo dum as well creamy potatoes very very good excellent moving over to the desserts indian desserts you had gulab jamun you had mishti doi which is which is uh, like caramelized curd you know rasgullas and um, you had mousse cakes you had panna cottas you had raspberry pastries you had pineapple cake extremely uh, juicy and very very soft moist beautiful apple pie peach and pear pie i believe this was lemon curd and again not very sweet you know i mean it's perfect really really good and this was one of my favorite items uh, chocolate and hazelnut cake oh man it was mind blowingly delicious the cheesecake as well with some raspberry compote on top and um, man again makes my mouth water so a lot of options as you can see this was a tangy kind of a dessert uh, you had chocolate tart you had a mango cake as well and uh, there's the mango cake it was like ice cream man i mean it was so delicious so we really enjoyed our time here at uh, the shamiana at taj city center in new town kolkata we will highly recommend this place in terms of the ambiance really high up there 5 on 5 i would say in terms of the food as well 5 on 5 generally when it comes to the buffet items you get kind of you know meat or you know items which are not really that tender or that delicious but every single item in the buffet menu was super hit even the life counter was absolutely fantastic and it was your money's worth it cost us say about around 2000 rupees per person uh, for an adult for the non alcoholic brunch which i think was absolutely worth it given the ambiance and given this place so overall lovely we enjoyed our time here and we would highly encourage you to come here and enjoy this place as well and we're not getting paid for saying that by the way <laughs> just putting it out there so um hey if you've enjoyed this video Do remember to hit that like and subscribe button and also that bell icon in case you want to get notified with all my latest videos. With that said, it's a wrap for this one and I'll see you lovely folks in my next video. Until that time, I'll say happy eating, take care of yourselves, stay safe and may God bless you all. Mm -hmm.